Hi, good evening. How are you today? Hi. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. What do you mean? How are you? Happy, happy, teacher. How are you? Happy, happy. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, nice. Now we are eight here. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hi. Uh, um, how are you? Nice, nice. Can we present a circle? We'll get it to almost the end. Next week is the last one, right? Let's see, Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa Marcela. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Andre. Angie. Hello, teacher. I am the way. Hmm? Bye. Okay, okay. Voy a llamar a atendance again porque no entendí nada. Este... 
Vamos a ver, si alguien se me conectó después de que lo llamé, espere cuando doy la segunda llamada, porque si no me hago bolita, está quien está, quien me contestó. Ok, Abner Adoni. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Andrei. Angie. Presente. Arely. Erlin. Present teacher. Hermano Emi. Hermano Emi. Carla. Present teacher. María Epifanía. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel. Nancy Katia. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Silvia. Úrsula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Vaya, alguien que se haya conectado después de que lo llamé. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. William, me dijo que me dijo sí. Sí, teacher. Bueno, yo creo que... Ah, pues sí, pues estamos, 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 caballeros. Bueno, caballeros, ¿qué contestar? Bueno, how are you today? How are you, how are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. <coughs> we are beginning today, well, we are finishing today, and next Monday we are going to be beginning a new lesson, right? Check. June 16th, June 16th today, um, today our video conference number 15, we're going to be talking about the simple past review and practice. Remember during this week, we have been talking about affirmative negative sentences in the past, yes, no questions and information questions, right? So today we will have our review and then a, a review of the structure, right? And review of vocabulary from the lesson two. Okay, check the objective. Participants will be able to prepare a conversation about the things they did yesterday at home hmm, or at work. Using the simple past in all its forms correctly. So you will be making a combination of uh, questions, yes, no questions, information questions, affirmative and negative answers as you create your conversation. Okay, now look at these questions. These are yes, no questions, right? Did you want something to eat? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did it rain last night? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did they have a picnic last month? Did the store give you a discount? Okay, these are some questions. 
that we're going to be asking here, asking to each other. Yeah. A ver, I count, I count with nine people, right? Oh, now I have more. Okay. Um, what I want you to do is to take turns asking the questions to the people. But first, re repeat the questions after me. Did you want something to eat? Did you want something to eat? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did your friends, you friends call you or text you today? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did it rain last night? Did it rain last night? Last night. Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did they have a picnic last month? Did you go? Did you have a picnic last month? Did the store give you a discount? Did the store give you a discount? Okay, I want a couple of volunteers to to ask questions. Let's see, Ursula, ask the first question to somebody. You choose who you will ask. I choose, okay. I choose Angie. Okay. Angie, did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't. Yes, I didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. well, yes, I did or no, I didn't, right? Okay, yes, yes, I did. Okay. Hi. Okay, now you ask another partner. Okay, eh, Mauricio. Mauricio. I'm here. Okay. Uh, did it rain last night? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. It rained, right? Um, A little. <laughs> A little, a little. A ver, ajá. Okay. Eh, quiero... um, Now you ask the question to the next partner. Sarah Milena. Sarah Milena. I am here. <laughs> uh, did you go on vacation last week? No, I didn't. Ah. Okay, Sorry. Carlito, ask the question to the next. Okay, um, Erling. Tell me. Um, did your friends call you or text you today? Yes, they did it. Hmm. Okay, very good friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very good friends. Okay, now you ask somebody <clears throat> else early, choose another person. Okay, Maria. Maria Epifania. Marija. Eh, alguien más. Tell me. Ah, okay. Okay. Eh, okay eh, did, 
Did the store give you a discount? Did the store give you a discount? I didn't listen very well because I am in the past. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> did, the, did the store give you a discount? Can you hear me? Maria, they gave me a discount. Okay, yes, they gave me a discount. Very good. Maria, you told to us to somebody else. Uh, Marta Marisol. Okay. Marta, did you go on vacation last weekend? Marta, did you go on vacation last week? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Mire que gala. Hey, Marta, you ask another question to another partner. Okay. Mm. Irma. Irma. Señorita Irma, Irma tiene problemas de diante, no nos contesta. Irma, Irma, hello. Hello, teacher, perdón, me había levantado. Ok. Ahí le van a preguntar. Ok. ¿Puede ser la misma o otra? Yo, you can choose another one. It's ok. Ok. Did you go on vacation last weekend? Uh, I didn't. No, I no, didn't. I didn't. Ok, no, I didn't. Okay, great, great, nice. Now, check these questions. Where now we go for information, right? If you notice in the, in the previous ones, you were only saying yes or no. Here, you will give me information, I get it. You will give me information. So if I say, where did you live 10 years ago? Where did you live 10 years ago? I lived in Mexicanos 10 years ago. Where? Place, right? Place. Why did you decide to study English? Why did you decide to study English? I decided to study English because I wanted to learn a new language. I decided to learn to study English because I wanted to learn a new language. Yeah, that's the reason why. When, when did you, uh, when, sorry, when, when you were a child, ah, okay, when you were a child, which color did you prefer, black or red? When I was a child, I preferred black. When you were a child, 
which food did you prefer? Chicken or beans? Mm -hmm. When you were a child, which food did you prefer? Chicken or beans? Uh -huh. When you were a child, you, each of you, which food, which food did you prefer? Chicken or beans? When I was a child, I prefer chicken. Okay, doing good. When you were a child, which activity did you prefer? Watching a movie or playing soccer? When I was a child, uh, my, my favorite hobby was to play high and seek. Oh, yes, playing hide and seek. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I guess all children enjoy playing hide and seek, right? Okay, yes, yes. Let's see, let's move here. Who ate chocolate this morning? Who ate chocolate this morning? Hmm? <clears throat> Manuel, Manuel ate chocolate this morning. Manuel ate chocolate this morning. Who did you call today? Remember yesterday I told you that sometimes when we use who, we can make questions using auxiliary or not. And it will depend on the answer that I want to get, right? Who ate chocolate? Subject, Manuel. A child this morning. Who did you call? I called Lupita. I'm looking for the object, right? But if I say who called? Lupita called. Who did you call? I called Lupita. Yeah. Do you see the difference? Who did you call? A quien le llamaste. But who called? Quien llamó. Right? So there is a difference. Una es quien llamó y a otra es a quien le llamaste. Right? Okay. How did you get to work? Oh, I got to work by bus. How did you get to work? I got to work by car. Oh, I got to work on foot. Si usted camina, ¿verdad? Y me queda cerca y camina. I got to work on foot. Ahí no decimos by foot, sino que on foot. What did you do last weekend? I worked last weekend. What did you do last weekend? Did you work? Mm-hmm. I worked last weekend. Okay, I worked last weekend. Everybody worked last weekend? Yes, I worked. You worked last, last weekend. Okay. Okay, me too. Me too. I worked last weekend too. Okay. Vamos now, check these questions. We were doing these questions uh, yesterday, right? Where you had to complete the questions with your own ideas. And I'm going to share the ones I got. What did you do on the weekend? What did you do on the weekend? Hmm? <clears throat> I rest you rested, every weekend. You rested on the weekend. Okay. Next question. 
You say, I, I bought some clothes at the moment. How did you do in the platform? How did you do on the platform? I did the homework. But how did you do? Did you do well? Yes, I did it well. You did it well. Okay. If you're not too sure, you say, "Well, I did kind of well." When did you? Okay. When did you? When did you? When did you? No, why, Beta? Why did you? Any activity? Uh -huh. Teacher? <clears throat> uh, what do you, what do you decide to what do you decide to study English? Mm -hmm. Good question. Good question. Why did you decide to study English? Because you can say because I want a better opportunity, right? Why well, want better opportunities? Why <clears throat> did you why did you exercise alone? Why? Why did you exercise alone? Hmm? Why did you exercise alone? Why? Why, why? I exercised alone. Remember, read some better. I exercised alone because my friends didn't come to the. Yeah, I exercised alone because my friends couldn't come to the. Okay. Where did you? How would you complete this sentence? Last where night. Did, where did you go last night? Okay. Where did you go last night? Where did you buy this shirt? Where did you study as a child? Where did you live as a child? Where did you study last year? Or where did you work last year? I bought it in the market, right? Where did you buy this shirt? I bought it in the market. Okay, number five, who did you? Who did you? How would you complete that? Who did you? Who did you to eat so much? Who did you? Okay, ah, this is why. Why did you eat so much? Who did you invite oh. to the party? Invite party? Who did you invite? To the party. Hmm? Who did you invite to the party? I invited my brother. I invited my friends to the party. Right? Who did you invite to your house? I invited my friends to my house. Okay. Any question here? No question. Mm -hmm. No? Teacher, question. Tell me. Con los verbos no, no cambiaría, ¿verdad, teacher? 
En la respuesta iría el verbo va a ir en pasado. En la pregunta si ¿sí el verbo está en presente por el auxiliar. Sí, la respuesta sería en, en pasado. En pasado. Y aquí tenemos did porque el verbo es do, el verbo hacer. But you say, why did you exercise present? In la question, present. In the answer, if it is affirmative, past. Bueno, en este caso, solo no puede decir respuesta negativa porque es information, question, ¿verdad? Vamos a dar información. Entonces, esta es en, en affirmative. El verbo va a ir en past. I vote, I invited, I exercised, I did, I vote. Okay? Then the verb will always be in past in the answer. In the question, it will be in, in the base form. Y el auxiliar. Any other question there? No? No question. Okay. Remember this vocabulary. You have pick up your phone, understand, explain, complain, help, uh, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, and receive. These are some words we were studying in this unit. What you're going to do here is use the missing words or write the missing words to form words. Words that we have studied in this unit. Unit number three. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to send you to the group. We are in your manual, page okay, page Check, two things. Write the missing words for each of the sentences, and then be sure that you know what they mean, because I'm going to ask you, right? I'm going to ask you for the definition of each of the words. Ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. We're making groups of four. Let's join, please. Right to join.
Aha, Alexa, Nancy, Sylvia, Oscar. Try to join. No la entendí mucho. Uh... Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hi. Eh, mire, eh, las preguntas iban a ser como. Vaya, ahí. Cualquiera. No, ese es vocabulary. Lo que tienen que hacer, sí. Eh, van al manual, go to the manual. This page 37. Lo que tienen que hacer es ver qué letras son las que faltan para formar las palabras que están allí. Oh, okay. Faltan las vocales. Creo yo que las vocales. Oh, bueno, le faltan letras. A algunos le faltan vocales y a otros le faltan otras letras. Entonces, lo que tienen okay. que hacer es poner las letras que faltan para. para formar la palabra. Vaya, vista. Ok. El seven. Ahí está, ya llegué. Compartirla, es que bien lento tengo el inter. Igual yo lo tengo bien lento ahorita. Uh, no me abre, no, no puedo entrar a la plataforma, no, no me permite. Eh... Vaya, estoy viendo aquí. Quiero ver. Déjeme ver cómo la co puedo compartir. Ah, oh, la puedes tomar una, una captura y la envías en mensaje. Ahorita. Ahorita, ahorita. Vale, ahorita la comparto. Oh, ¿Puede verla? Sí, puedo verla. Eso sería, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Vaya. Eh... Ok, ese es pick, pick up de... Pick up de... Day. No. No, no, no es. Porque la tercera sí es. Sí. Sí, oh, no, sí, hey. Ajá, sí, de, hey. The house. No, ¿verdad? No. The shoes. Pick up the shoes. Zapatos, sí. los zapatos. No, ¿verdad? No. They... Um, pick up the what? Quiero ver el manual. Ah, y había en otra. Sí. Son dos. Ah. Pues no, pero me vamos a... Voy a cambiar eso. Pero. Está bien. Pero la otra, la tercera sí es como col, creo que. O K. Ahorita vemos. Quiero ver esta. Mm. 
Vale. Ah, ahí están los... Hoy sí se ven, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí. Ok. Eh... Dios mío. Write the mission letters to complete the words. Pick up the what. La tercera es esta, men. Este te digo. Es... Esta es la tercera. Uh -huh. Call. Uh -huh. Call. El otro es... Ah. En la dos sería Day. Day, cabal. Ajá. Hay que escribirlo. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Ya, yeah, you finished. No. Almost, almost, teacher. You're not working together. Yes, uh, we are in five. Five. No, group of four. Huh? No, eh, vamos en la número cinco. Explain. Ah, ah okay. Explain. Número seis. Complain. Número siete, help, help. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál falta, William? Dice que la siete no sería fell, como caer. La siete, eh, no, la siete es help. Oh. De ayuda, help, help, ayuda. Ah, help. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Sí que me he quedado. Y sí me he quedado a medio. ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál falta? Falta la ocho, nueve, diez. La ocho es así. Asisten, ¿verdad? Asist. Asist. Ajá, asist. De ahí la nueve. La nueve creo que es recibo. Recibe. Recibe. Recibe, ajá. Y ahí la diez. Understand. Understand. Understand, un, understand es verdad. Understand. 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 Ajá. Understand. No, sería la 10. La 11. La 11 creo que es provide. Provide one's information. Provide. 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 
information. Y la última request information. Request information. Request information. Provence. Provence information. Provence. Provide. 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 Provide information. Provide one information. Provide one information. Creo que ya está en todas, ¿eh? Sí. La última dijo que era este. Request, re request information. Request information. Request information. Request information. En la, en la tres, no, no, no. No sé qué. En la tres, Mari. No tengo ni idea. Hágale zoom al teléfono. <risa> de... Dos, dos. Dice no supe letra, ¿no? por cuál va por la dos. Yo ahorita no puedo, estoy aplastada. Está aplastada, pobrecita. Bájese. Siente ahí en la paradita y, y la hace. Sí, y me falta un gran montón. En la dos, no sé si es H, A, I. Ay. Uh... Ana Luisa. Ay, Dios mío. No, Miki. No sé y no será. ¿Cómo? Sí. C-H-E. Sí. Hola, teacher. Eh, ya, ya voy a participar. Lo que pasa es que estoy todavía trabajando en unos pagos. Entonces oh, quiero resolver algo de la banca en línea. Okay. T H. Nice day. Uh. En la dos. Como... Uh -huh. T H. Yeah. No logro ver, es que voy todavía en el bus. Es que ahí tiene dos espacios, una Y y al final, Mari. Solo son de tres letras. ¿Ah? Solo son tres letras. ¿Ah? Ah, 
Como la primera hemos hecho, Ticha. Oh, my God, really? What sí. happened? Ay, sí, sí. Ay, voy a hacer... Sí. Ya casi voy a llegar y mañana le voy a ayudar. Y sí, por aquí no yo voy a <ríe> estreso. Sí. Sí. Esa mira. <ríe> Ya lo, te cayó el mensaje. Sí, ahorita. Tal vez salga de uno por ahí. Un segundo, este, Mauricio. ¿Qué? Hola. Hola. Hola, Mauricio. Hola. Melissa, coming, coming. Fourteen seconds. Thanks. Nice, nice. Everybody here. Okay, what do you have in the first one? I'm going to change the color of the film. Number one. Uh, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, number one. Pick up the phone. Number two. Teacher, eh, ahí tenemos una duda. ¿Podría ser day or fly? ¿Podría ser qué? Day, de día. O fly, de volar. Buy también, compra. Ah, buy. Yeah. Yeah. ¿En cuál? Mm. ¿En cuál? Oh, so sorry, no. En number two. Two. Buy. Uh, uh -huh. Ajá. Purchase. Purchase, yes. Pero number three. The third one is cold. Oh. <laughs> me quedé así cuando me dijo buy, porque yo, yo estaba viendo la tres. Y así como que, ah. bye. <laughs> <laughs> ok, what about number three? The call. third one is call. Call. Number four. The four, anyone knows. Nobody knows. Great princess. Number four. Number four, let me see. Get price. Uh, number four is. Uh, Get price. Get prices. Get prices. Get prices. 
Exactly. What about number five? Explain. Mm, I just allow explain. I'm writing an explain. Number six. Complain. 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 Yes. Okay. What about seven? Tell. 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 Number eight. A seat. Assist. Assist. Ay, qué yeah. Ah, ya le Copia. <laughs> Copia. Yes, assist. Pulpo este mouse. Assist. Number nine. Receive it. Hmm? Receive. Yeah, receive. Receive. Number 10, Ursula. Ah, ¿verdad? <laughs> Number 10. Understand. 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 Yes. Understand. Understand. Number eleven. Then provide all information. Provide. Provide. Once information. Uh -huh. Provide one's information. Number 12. Request information. Request information. Uh huh. Request information. Everything. Any question? Hmm? No question. Look. Oh, me. Uh -huh. We made a mistake in one, you see. Which one? Number seven. Aha, uh -huh, it's not tail. What is it's it? Help. It's help. Help. Yeah. 
help. Buy it's okay, ¿verdad? Yeah. Assist or mm -hmm. only help. Okay. Any questions? No questions? Not sure. Okay, repeat. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up, Pick the, up phone. the phone. Bye. 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 Call. 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 Get prices. Get prices. Get prices. Explain. 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 Complain. Complain. Help. 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 Assist. Help. Assist. 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 Receive. 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 Understand. 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 Provide one's information. Provide, Provide one's information. information. Request information. Request, Request information. information. Any questions? <coughs> no question. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. We're going to do the next exercise. Let me put it up. Ya le puse para que no me les aparezca la respuesta, pero... Ay. And you're not supposed to. So now, bye. Uh, what you're going to do here is transform the, transform the negative sentences into positive. She didn't buy that computer. Now you change the sentence to affirmative, right? He bought that computer. He bought that computer. Oops. What about number two? Number two? We brought that package. We brought, we brought that package. Mm -hmm. Number three. The client. The client. Yesterday. The client didn't call yesterday. Uh -huh. The employees read the email. The read the email. Mm. Read the email. Employees read the email. Okay. Our boss didn't come back last week. Our bus did come back last week. Okay. Our bus back home. Our bus come back last week. Our bus, 
Almost K. didn't come Almost. back. Almost came back last week. Our boss didn't. Our boss didn't come back last week. Beta. Our boss didn't come back last week. Is that correct? That's the, ne the negative. Oh. Positive or both or both came back like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see the last one. She didn't cancel the meeting. She didn't they cancel. They cancel the meeting. They cancel the meeting. And the next one. The ones to comply. The lady wants to complain. Aha, the, the lady, lady didn't want to complain. The lady didn't want to complain. The lady wanted to complain. Okay. Let's see. I, I sent, sent the refund to this email. I sent the refund to this email. Okay, any question? Any question? No question? No. No, teacher. Now, let's make a review of the verbs that we were studying at the beginning. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to think. And then we will start writing the past for each of these verbs, okay? Couple of minutes to think, and then we will write. Let me know when you're ready. The first one is become. Aha, uh -huh. become. Become. Begin, began. Begin. Begin, begun. Break. Rock. Ah, uh -huh. bring. Bro. 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 Buy. Boat. Boat. Build. Built. 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 Choose.
Yo sé. es y Rey Y si Rey Chos. Choose Chos. Choose Chos. Cook. Cooked. Cooked. Swim. Swung. Swung. Study. What's the past of the study? Study. Study. Do. Did. Did. Speak. Spoke. 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 Make. Made. Made. Dance. What's the past dance? Dance. Write. Brought. Brought. Breathe. Breathe. Mm -hmm. You write it the same, but the pronunciation changes, right? Read, read. Move. 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 Sting. Sunk. Tail. Tall. Okay. Sail. So, so, it, it, ate, it, ah. it, ate. I, it, ate. go, when, when, drink, drunk, drunk, drunk. Okay, drink. Ahí está. Nice. Any question, chicos? No, different. Right now, we are going to make a couple of questions, right? But I want to check attendance before I continue, okay? Let me see. Eh, Abner Adoni. Adoni here. Adoni, no here. Alexa. Present. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Andrei. Andrei. It's Andrei here, no? Angie? Presente. Adeline? Present teacher. Erling? I'm here, teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Maria? Present teacher. Marta? Present teacher. Mauricio? I'm here teacher. Nice. Miguel Angel? Miguel Angel? Nancy? I'm here teacher. Oscar? Present teacher. Silvia. Silvita. ¿Cómo está Silvia? 
fueron que les paso lista hacia media a media noche, media noche, aquí a media clase, porque si no, fíjense que de repente hay gente que no, no estaba al principio y al final tampoco. Entonces hay no, no, no sé, ¿verdad? No, no, no está así. Bueno, let's, eh, I'm going to send you, chicos, to the, to the breakout rooms. You will work on this exercise, um, this one. You're going to write uh, questions using the verbs. You have the verb do, go, buy, work, read, and sleep, right? So you're going to create information questions, not just no questions, you know, okay? Information questions. Then you write the answer to that question. Okay. Vacha esusta en yo manual page. Page 38 in your manual. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, the verb. Mm, lo vamos a usar en pasado. Sí. Bueno, en la question no, ¿verdad? Ya sabe usted que in the question the verb goes in present, but in the answer it goes in past. Por ejemplo, you have do. Usamos el do como verbo, ¿verdad? Y ya sabemos que en la pregunta tenemos que usar el auxiliar. What did you do? Por ejemplo, what did you do this morning? What did you do yesterday? Y escriben también la respuesta de, de usted. Sí, okay. I worked all morning, por ejemplo. Ok. Ok, sí, thank you. Where did you go last week? I went to... Cerro Verde last week. Ok. Let's go... Let's go. I'm going to make other groups. Los que estaban de camino, y si ya llegaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí. So join the group and you work on page page Try to join. John, John. Irma, try to join. No le aparece, la muevo. La voy a mover al cuarto. Sí, porque está en oyente, Oscar. Vaya, chico. No, usted está aquí afuera todavía. Vea si le aparece el grupo 4 y se une ahí. Muy bien. Marta. A ver, Irma. La voy a volver a mover al 1. A ver si aparece. Check, check. Y me quedo congelada ahí. Ahí está. Nice. What did you... What did you... What did you mm -hmm. do yesterday? Creería que sí. Es así que hiciste ayer. 
What did you do yesterday? What mm. did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. What did you do se mantiene el verbo si usamos el did. Okay. La otra podría ser Where did you go in the morning? Where? Where did you go in the morning? Did you go in the morning? Aha, uh -huh. where uh -huh, yeah. did you go in the morning? La mañana. Ah, o sea, ¿qué, qué, ¿a dónde fuiste en la mañana? Exacto. Where, ¿dónde? Where did you go in the morning? Where did you go in the morning? Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, la otra sería en, o sea, comprar en pasado. Okay. ¿Cuál podríamos poner ahí, Mauricio? ¿Qué se le ocurre? Vamos a ver, si gusta comparte. Hola. Si gusta compartir pantalla. ¿Sí? Estoy desde el teléfono, Mauricio, así se me complica ah, okay. un poquito. Ajá. Okay, yo lo vaya, pero digamos que para la otra sería de pie. Igual podríamos utilizar el did para que el verbo no cambie. Entonces podríamos utilizar, por ejemplo, el what. Uh, sería what. A ver, que va primero. What book What bow? No, perdón, el did vamos a utilizar uh -huh. el uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces es what did What did you bow? What did you go? Repeat the question. The... What, what did you go? Did you, you buy, perdón. Ah, ah. Sí, es que el verbo no cambia y me confundo. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Entonces sería, what did you buy in the supermarket? What did you buy? In the supermarket. But, no sé si gusta, podría compartir Mauricio para ver que si la vaya escribiendo ahí. Porque yo aquí estoy viendo la, la imagen del de, de, teléfono, pero yo digo para que. Sí, yo igual, yo igual del teléfono. Ah, estoy. ah perfecto. Sí, en cuaderno, sí. Ah, vaya, vaya, pues vamos entonces, yeah. pero, pero. Pero sí se me comprende la, la, la palabra. Sí, que claro, le claro. Ah, yeah. ok, perfecto. Va, entonces vamos Bye con work. Uh -huh. Vamos con work, work. entonces. Mm. Um, Podríamos utilizar ahí el... El... Quiero ver... El when, cuando, cuando, ajá, ajá cuando trabajaste en, por ejemplo, en la fábrica de zapatos, podría ser, yeah. when, when did you work in the, when. in the shoe factory?
When did you go? When, when did you work in the shoes factory? When did you go? When did you go to work? In the shoes factory. In, in the shoes factory. Mm -hmm. Si alguna okay. palabra no se me entiende, dígame, Mauricio. Ok, eso no se entiende. Sí. Yeah. Ok, Va. Vamos con Define. read. Uh -huh. Read. Podríamos, podríamos preguntar qué libro leíste el mes pasado podría ser tal vez what ajá what did you read mm -hmm. um, quiero ver what did you Oh, no. Real last month. Ay, Ana Luisa, pensábamos que no estaba. <ríe> ah, está regresando, viera que me ha pasado de todo. Ah, okay. <ríe> qué bueno que está aquí entonces. Uh, perdón. Okay. Ay, no, 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 tranquila. Okay. Sí, okay. Así Luisa. la que dijo usted, así sería, ¿verdad? What did you book real last Ajá. month? Exacto, sí, así sería. Thank you. And number three. Otro sería sí. Mm. Podríamos preguntar sí, a quién viste, a quién viste. Ayer, por ejemplo, podría ser wo. Uh, ajá, wo, wo. Who did who? who. who. Gracias. Who. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who. who did you see yesterday? Who? Who? D, D, you see yesterday in the in the church in the iglesia, for example. In the church. Uh huh. Sí. Ese señor. ¿Cómo se escribe eso? C-H-U-R-K. ¿Qué se escribe? Short. Ya, ya le mandé, pero es que es el que le mandé la ya pasada. Mayo. Y lo único que okay. va a ver. Vaya, ahora la... con la respuesta. Pues, ok. <ríe> ok. Va. Escribió bueno, Mauricio one. usted las preguntas. ¿Qué did you. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. Esa era What did you do? Yeah. What uh -huh. did you do in the morning? Ah, ok. Uh, uh, podríamos ponerle yeah. I I did work. I worked. I, I worked. worked. Yeah, I indeed. worked. Okay. In answer, Gracias. No, no, sí. no tiene no auxiliar. Ah, okay. No, in the answer. Um, thank in the answer. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Entonces, I worked. Yo trabajé. I worked. Mm -hmm. Work. Number two. 
sería I gone I gone I gone the supermarket I went to Ay, gracias. I went. went. Y el gone, y el gone para cuándo se utiliza, teacher? El gone es, es para el present perfect. Mm, ok. Gracias. Es el pasado sí. participio. Ok. Entonces, I went the supermarket. Uh -huh. I went to the supermarket. Okay. Se le pone el, el to, teacher. I went to the supermarket. Yeah. Sí, sí, ponga. Ah, ok, thank you. Mauricio es, no sé si I, lo, lo escribió así. Yeah. I went. I went to, to the supermarket. To... Ah, ok, thank you. Yeah. Bye. La Number otra three. sería I bow vegetables, por ejemplo, vegetales, and meat y carne. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Ya casi, solo eh, corroborando las cuestiones, eh, siempre lo vamos a hacer con, con when, teacher. When, what, why, who. Sí, sí las hacen eh, double H question. Por ejemplo, cuando ocupamos el verbo go, Puede ser, where are you going to the bank? No, where did you go? Acuerde que estamos hablando del past. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Where you do you go, verdad? Where did you go? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Go? Where did you go? Did you go? When ok. Decir, o puede poner, when did you go? The, to the park. Si quiere, when. O where did you go yesterday? Ah, ok. Why did you go to school yesterday? ¿Verdad? Y ustedes pueden usar cualquier palabra, pero tienen que ver cómo la, cómo la conjugan. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Y el grupo, William, no están Alexa y Marta. Mm, no creo que no te Ay, por ahí les traje a William. Hello, Good teacher. Hello. Hello, William. Um, la número dos se me dijo. ¿Cuál están trabajando, María? La página treinta y... Espérame. No, la, la pregunta de los verbos, ¿cuál están haciendo? Ah, nosotros ya las hicimos. <laughs> ah, ok. Ver with William, because he was practically alone. Ok, ok, ok. <laughs> Angie, vaya diciéndole mientras le busco las... Ok, está bien. A ver, número 17. No, 
Bueno, la primera que hicimos, do you play soccer? No sé si está bien. Yes, I did. La otra. Do you go to the, to the shopping with me? Ghost. Ghost. To shopping with me? Yes. I did or I want. William, ¿está por ahí? Sí, sí. <ríe> eh, le hago una yo con el go. Vaya, está bien, está bien. When do you go to the bank? Yes, I, I go. Yes, I did go to the bank. Uh -huh. yes, Así I es, did. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Yes, I did. I did the bank. ¿Cuál otra? Este. ¿Dónde estaba? Go. Sería la de Bye. Bye. Eh, do you want to come on? Buy some shoes. Did you buy some shoes? Yes, I did buy shoes. Buy, uh, buy shoes. También tengo una con how. How did you buy that car? ¿Cómo compraste ese auto? How do you buy the car? Uh -huh. How how did you buy? Yes, no sé si me he equivocado. How did you buy the car? The car. Creo que ahí le podría, ahí le podría, de, tendría que darle yo una respuesta de, de, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, no corta, sino que es la otra. ¿verdad? Ajá, con sería, la sería de, yes, I, yes a, I did, I did buy the car while my saving, ajá, con ahorro, my, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y yo, así le, que, yo así le entendí, fíjese a ellos. No sé si yo me equivoqué. Que parece que sea, me dice que no sean preguntas sí o no. O no sé si eran al revés. Yeah, si eran uh, preguntas information, cortas. Information questions is the instruction. Ah, ok. Check. Information questions. First you write the questions and then you write the answers. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Angie? Hello. Hi. Si gusta, hágale una pregunta a usted, a Don William. With work. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you want work yesterday? Yes. I... I... <laughs> sería was? did or was. Was, ¿verdad? Yo creo... Yes. Yes, Yo I creo was. que como es... Si le está preguntando de ayer, tiene que ser pasado, le va a contestar. Va, yes, I was working. Mm. 
Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, Porque si usted le hace una pregunta en pasado. Uh -huh. Fuiste a trabajar ayer, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, yes, I was work, work yesterday, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I wasn't, creo que sería. I wasn't. Tengo dudas si la pregunta es, eh, por ejemplo, I won't. Porque no, es que es le como... estoy confirmando sería yes, eh, sí, ¿verdad? Y ahí sería I was, I was worse de yesterday. I was working. I was at work. I was working. I was working Uh -huh. Ah, porque le está preguntando algo en pasado. Yes. Okay, entonces sí está bien. Sí. I recuerden information question, right? Information question means that you use what, when, where, why. Recuerden. When you say what. What did you do? Porque ese information, esta pregunta de información, no, no solamente yes, no question. ¿no? Okay. Uh, what do you do about the what did you do? Remember, you what asked did questions you about the past. Yeah, what did you do with the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Okay, I también sería what did you do what do you do tonight to tonight perdón what did you do uh, tonight mm, tonight sería más present que pasa ah ok uh, sería this morning or in the afternoon this morning mm -hmm. Sí. Y la respuesta sería I I wanted to return the phone. Ajá. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to the core the last week. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't go, no, no fui. 
No, I didn't go to the work. No, I didn't go to the Go to the work. Hmm. I didn't go to the work. Sí. Esa de leer, ¿cómo la puso este early? Porque sí, sí. Uh, did you read a book? Mm, tiene que ser information question. Uh, what did you do which, yesterday? Which book did you read? Okay. Give options. If you're saying which, you have to give options, right? Si no da options, puede usar what. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Okay. What did you do yesterday? What do you have there? What did you do yesterday? Voy a borrar. What did uh -huh. What did you do yesterday? Give me the answer. I worked. I worked. Okay. I worked. What about question number two with go? When did you go to the bank? When did you go to the bank? I went to the bank. I went yesterday. Mm -hmm. I went to the bank. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Bye. When did, you buy... when did you buy your computer? When did you buy your computer? Very good. When did you buy your computer? Did you remember? I bought yesterday my... in the morning. Oh, yesterday morning. Okay. Uh -huh. Erling, when did you buy your computer? I bought my computer in in the world of computers. But when? Ah, when? Sorry. I I bought I bought my computer the last year. Last year. Okay. What about work? Work. Work, work, when did you work in the shoe factory? When did you work in the shoe factory? When? When did you work in the shoe factory? I worked in the last month. I worked there last month. Okay. What about we? Read. Who wants to ask a question using read? Read. What is read? Clear. Clear. How do you read Harry Potter? How? No. When? Or, when or did you read the 
Ah, pero tiene que ser information question. Okay, when did you read the... Or when did you see the Harry Potter movies? Movie. Okay. When did you see the Harry Potter movie? When? I see Harry Potter movies last week. Okay, I saw. So, Harry Potter movies last week. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What about read? When did you read Harry Potter's book? Okay. When did you read the Harry Harry Potter's book? I read it. Oh, I haven't read. I haven't read it. I haven't read. I haven't read. I haven't read, I haven't read it. And I don't think I will. Okay. Nice, nice. Any question here? Hmm? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, we will do one last thing in this unit. We're going to write here adjectives. Adjectives to show customer's satisfaction and adjectives to show a customer's dissatisfaction about a product. We don't know the product. Any product. For example, satisfaction would be happy, for example. Another thing. Think about adjectives. Can the satisfaction. Sí. Satisfaction. Uh, the contrary to the happy is unhappy. Unhappy, okay. Unhappy. Uh-huh. Can you think of another adjective? Uh, for satisfaction, it could be a good warranty. Good. Kind? Mm -hmm. Kind. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another one. Bitter in superlatives then grateful trustful right in Spanish teacher what is the meaning Of what? Of trustful. Trustful is confiable. Ah, and yo decía agradecido. Oh, thankful. Grateful. Grateful. Thankful. Grateful. Algo así. Great. E -E. Okay. Grateful, vamos a ver. Similar words to grateful and thankful. Appreciative, inept, inept, indebted, uh, obliged, obligated, and beholden. ¿Verdad? Thankful. Grateful es, eh, tiene el mismo significado que grateful. And according to the dictionary, um, 
yeah, in the same sense of thankful, feeling or showing thanks, feeling or expressing appreciation. That is a owing gratitude for help and faith. So, yeah, that can be thankful or it can be grateful. It's the same. They are similar. <laughs> Oops. Dale. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. It's Vierne. It's Friday. And the body knows. Sleeping <laughs> tomorrow all day long. Mm -hmm. A ver, tell me dissatisfaction. We have unhappy. Quality. Bad quality. Satisfaction. Excited. Ex and excited would be satisfaction, right? Mm, emocionado. Sí, estoy excited. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? You can be angry to get that. Upset. Upset, upset, it's not angry, it is disappointed. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are to show this, this satisfaction. Can you think of any other? No more. No more? No more, no more? Teacher in, satisf in satisfaction, no sería quality también. O calidad. Que quality es un, es un noun. ¿Verdad? Entonces ahí ah, okay. la diferencia sería el good quality o bad quality. Por lo que yo lo puse good y bad. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Porque ahí depende. Si es good quality, el client will be satisfied. Satisfied. If it is bad quality, the, the customer will be dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. No more? No more. No more. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Here we have finished with unit number three. On Monday, we begin unit four. Unit four is the last unit. Unit four is about um finance. Vamos a ver términos final de así que tengan que ver con money, verdad? That's the next unit. Unit number four. Now check it. One thing. Eh, recuerden que hoy toca recoger plataforma Unit 3. Todavía tengo gente pendiente de completar la unidad, varias cositas. Entonces termino. Mañana ya saben que es el padre y no vamos a estar trabajando ni recogiendo nada. ¿Verdad? Así es que eh, traten de terminarla. Yo voy a revisar tipo... Diez y media más o menos para ver cómo están. Porque mañana no prometo sentarme en esta compu a revisar tarea técnica. Muy bien. 
Así que ahí terminen en las para poder yo actualizar la lista y que vean que, que van bien bonitos, bien completitos. Ok. Vamos a ver quién se queda conmigo hoy. Sure. Hola. Fíjese que yo quería pedir de su ayuda, no sé si se sí. podría. Sí, claro. Fíjese que yo estuve haciendo la, la, la homework, uh -huh. pero en la número 12 ninguna me sale buena. Ahí dice de que hay que convertirlas de negativo a positivo, ¿verdad? o al revés, no me recuerdo bien. Permítanme. Voy a y no me da. Veamos. Les hago el cambio y no me da. No uh -huh. sé por qué. Todas me salen malas. Nancy, Nancy puede. Dicho, ah, va a pasar lista. Ay, si me he pasado lista. Mire, yo bien galán y vaya a ver. Vaya, vamos a ver la plataforma. De a ver, thank you, thank you. Abner, Adoni. Abner. No me acuerdo. Eh, Alexa. Present. Ana Luisa. Present. Andrei. ¿Verdad que no subo Andrei ahora? No. No. Angie. Presente. Are, Araceli. Arely. <ríe> Arely. Por ahí estaba Arely. Erly. Irma Noemi. Okay. Present teacher, Irma Noemi. Ok, Carla. Marta. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Marta. Present. Yeah. Present teacher. <laughs> Present. Okay. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Oscar. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Silvia. Silvita. No Silvita, ¿verdad? Úrsula. Present teacher. Y William. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, si quiere se queda Erling y vemos lo de la plataforma. Eh, ya me están ayudando. Gracias, ah, teacher. Va. Okay, okay. Yo también tengo el mismo problema. Este, Mauricio. Sí, sí. Vale, si quiere se queda. O sea, que el día lo saqué, perdón. <risa> Ay, no, que le comenté, pero me solo saco esto ¿no? que se me han quedado dormidos ¿sí? y terminé sacándolo a usted y me quedé aquí con, con el que no estaba. <ríe> Vaya, veamos, ¿cuál, ¿cuál unidad, Mauricio? Mm, la 12. La 12, ok. La 12. Vaya, eh... Ajá. Sí, what you have to do here is write the sentence negative. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Vaya, asegúrese que pone la letra primera en capital R, que le pone puntito al final y que copie. No sé. Eh, eh, sí, le voy, a, le voy a mandar la primera. Porque fíjese que este, hay que copiar la, para que así copie el apóstrofe de todas las demás. Porque okay. lo, que sucede, lo que sucede es que, bueno, por ejemplo, en mi compu ustedes se han fijado que el apóstrofe me lo tira así, al revés. Y el apóstrofe de la plataforma que han, de donde han trabajado, de esta compu, es así, para abajo, rectificado. Yeah, yeah. Entonces lo que sucede es que al ponerla, al ponerlo uno desde su compu, no se lo agarra. Allí se lo pegué en el chat de, de, de Zoom, che, para que copie el pedacito así donde va la negation, ¿verdad? Y, y se lo lleve. Ahora, che, 
if yeah. they are using check if they are using the the glasses to go Sylvia on to go Sylvia. El punto al final también, dicho. Ajá, exacto. Chequen el puntito. Si no le pone el puntito, no se lo va a valer, ¿verdad? Entonces, son dos cositas, bueno, tres. Una, capital letter al principio, el punto al final y el apóstrofe que sea el que corresponde. Aparte, chequen, la primera es verbo to be, ¿verdad? Por eso es wasen. Pero en las otras están usando otros verbos. Entonces, tiene que tener mucho cuidado de que si está ah. utilizando otros verbos, que me ponga la, ¿cómo decir? El, el auxiliar correcto, ¿verdad? Tiene que ver okay. que va a ocupar didn't. Porque si usted me pone otro auxiliar, no se lo va a validar. Me voy a cheque que sea did. El guasen solo va en dos, en la uno y en la four. Mm -hmm. Only one and four are guasen. The, the other three have to be the two didn't. And remember, another thing to remember, is that when you make the sentence in negative, as you put the auxiliary in negative, the verb will be, uh, well, you put the auxiliary in past, the verb has to be in present, right? In the base form. Mm -hmm. Good. So okay. those are a couple of things to, to pay attention to, so you get all of the answers correct. Mm -hmm. Any other question over there? No, teacher. Okay. What about the others? Do you have any, any other question? Mm -hmm. I see you Monday, teacher. You Good Monday, night. See, take care. Okay, teacher. Thank care, you. Bye Good bye. night. Thank you. Welcome. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Hi, Adeline.
Thank mm -hmm. you.